Hi everyone! In today's video we are going to talk to you about using vibrators when you are in a relationship. So we sure you probably have used vibrators in the past, we don't have to explain to you what they are. However, for most people it's difficult to make the transition from using vibrators on their own versus using a vibrator with their partner. So we're going to help you to change that so that you can have more fun in the bedroom. I am Céline Rémy, the Intimacy Angel. And I'm Kevin Anthony, the Truth Warrior. And before we get going, if you've ever used a vibrator, thought about using a vibrator, maybe dreamed about using a vibrator, <laughs> make sure you like this video, hit subscribe, and also hit the bell so you get notifications for our other videos. We should have thousands of likes on this on this video because of that, Kevin. <laughs> yes, like, we you should. Never soul. You know, vibrators, they're everywhere. <laughs> so first you need to have a reframe. Vibrators, they can be fun in the bedroom, especially when you see it that way, that it's a toy. It's a sex toy. That's for playfulness in the bedroom. I think any women watching this video know that vibrators can be fun. However, I think some men might feel a little intimidated to bring vibrators in. Yeah, so first of all, think of this as a tool to enhance pleasure, not competition. That's kind of where the the biggie comes in when it comes to the vibrator. So if you are a woman who wants to bring this to the bedroom, one of the things is to share with your partner like, hey, I really like playing with this toy and it'd be really fun to do this together. I love it when you make love to me and I'd love us to experience that together. Like give him some reassurance that he does a good job in the bedroom, that you're satisfied, that you want to share more fun or something different because hey, you just want to bring something new in the bedroom to add some like juiciness. Right, so it's not a competition, it's not your penis versus the vibrator to see who can do the best. <laughs> so tight! <laughs> It also doesn't mean that you as a man are not doing a good job. And those are two big points that we wanted to stress in this video. So yes, they can be brought in as an addition to, and they really can be a lot of fun. Yes. Now, if you use vibrators, um, it's important to not use them all the time because you could potentially just get used to doing like the same thing over and over and then you're like missing out on so many other ways to feel pleasure and explore your body. But it's kind of like just having sex in one position forever and ever. You don't want that. You want to be able to bring in some variety, change positions and things like that. Same, sometimes you would use a vibrator and sometimes not just so that you can have different flavors. There is another issue as well, which is that vibrators can be pretty intense. Mm -hmm. In fact, you were working with a company that makes vibrators and they have multiple different models and some of them were a little too intense for you and some of them were. The point being that if you only ever use a vibrator, like you use it all the time, the woman can start to become sort of desensitized in a sense that the normal use of your penis or finger might not really get her to orgasm because she's so used to that intense stimulation of the vibrator and that's a place you don't want to get to. So it's fine to use vibrators, there's nothing wrong with that at all, but just make sure that you don't use them so much that it literally gets to the point where she can't even have an orgasm without one. And at the same time, orgasms and pleasure is awesome. And if that's really the only way, then that's just what it is. But don't create that habit. If you're stuck and that's where it is, then accept it. But if you're just starting with it, then don't go there. And I just wanted to bring that there are so many different ways to use vibrators, so many different vibrators too. And it doesn't just mean to use it on her. You could use something external on her clitoris. You guys could play with something internal inside of her. Not everything has to vibrate. Some of the things could be like crystal wands or things like this to stimulate G-spots area or different areas inside her uh, vagina. 
and there's also vibrators for you as a man where there's um, prostate massagers that vibrates there are you know like anything like butt plugs for both she and he that could vibrate or even things like a cock ring that would vibrate. The thing is, everybody has different genitals, different shape, and two people together create a very unique combination. And you've got to try out. There's some vibrators that really don't feel good for certain people and that are fantastic for others. So you've got to play with things and be willing to just give those a try and see whether it adds to the relationship or takes away. Think outside the box. <laughs> because when we said vibrator, you probably immediately had the vision of the standard vibrator, kind of like the lipstick shaped vibrator. And there are so many more options. So think outside the box. And be willing, both of you, to try and see where it goes. A lot of guys are very surprised that it feels really good to have something vibrating on their, their perineum or their balls. A lot of guys do enjoy some anal penetration and stimulation. So there's no limit. Be creative and have fun and don't be afraid. Again, have a conversation when it comes to talking about using something new in the bedroom. Make it fun, make it playful. Remind each other that you love each other and that it's not because they're not good enough, that it's because you want to have something unique with that person, that you want to share something different together. If you do that, you're going to have a lot of fun using vibrators from time to time in the bedroom. All right, thank you so much for watching today's video and we will see you in our next video. I want to thank Onnit for sponsoring today's video. Now, do you know why you feel hornier in the summer months rather than the winter months? No, it's not because you're showing more skin. Well, it does help. It's because of the vitamin D, because you spend more time outside and in the sun. Now, as many as 75% of people in the US are deficient in vitamin D, and vitamin D is one of these essential vitamins. It's the sexiest vitamin alive. It helps with your sex hormones, with your mood. So one way that I found works really well for me is to take it into a spray form because it's convenient and simple. All I have to do is five sprays under my tongue every day and I've got my daily dose and it works well. I'm set to go. If you want to boost your vitamin D levels easily and effortlessly, get your Onnit spray. Go to onnit.com and use Love Lab at the checkout to get 10% off your order. Or click on the links below in the description. You won't regret it.